Bridget Biddy Mason from Slavery to Richest Los Angeles Resident. It is a testament to human resilience, determination, and the power of overcoming adversity. But how this miracle happened? Born into slavery on August 15, 1818, most likely in Hancock County, Georgia, Biddy's early life was marked by challenges and uncertainty. Her family background remains shrouded in mystery, a reflection of the limited records available for many enslaved individuals during that time. At the age of 18, Biddy found herself in the household of Robert and Rebecca Smith in Mississippi, where she served as a nurse, midwife, and caregiver. She was not just a servant, but also a skilled healer, attending to the sick and assisting with childbirths. Her knowledge and expertise extended to farming, where she worked in the fields and cared for livestock. In this environment, she gave birth to three daughters, Ellen, Anne, and Harriet. Robert Smith's conversion to the Mormon faith set in motion a series of events that would shape Biddy's destiny. In 1847, the Smith family embarked on a westward journey to Salt Lake City, Utah, as part of a larger Mormon caravan. Biddy, with her newborn daughter Harriet on her back, played a crucial role in herding sheep and caring for the Smith family and their livestock. This journey of over 1,700 miles showcased her strength and resilience as she faced the challenges of the untamed terrain. Settling in Salt Lake City for a brief period, Biddy's life took another turn in 1851 when Robert Smith sought a better life in San Bernardino, California. Despite being told that California was a free state, Smith brought his slaves, including Biddy and her daughters, with him. It was during this time that Biddy's path crossed with the black residents of Southern California who had gained their freedom. She started to become aware of her rights as a free person under California law. Understanding one's own rights is the mightiest weapon against the system, and Biddy mastered this truth, curious about her political and constitutional maneuvers. Fear not, we're here to enlighten you about each of her strategic moves. It, it wasn't until a pivotal moment in 1855 that Biddy's fight for freedom truly began. Fearing that Smith intended to take them to Texas, a slave state, Biddy's friends and allies in the small black community of Los Angeles, including Elizabeth Rowan and Robert Owens, stepped in to help. The legal battle that ensued saw Biddy challenging Smith's claims and asserting her right to freedom for herself and her children. This marked a turning point in her life and a step toward breaking the chains that had bound her for so long. In January 1856, U.S. District Judge Benjamin Hayes ruled in favor of Biddy Mason, declaring her and the 14 others seeking freedom to be free forever. This landmark decision was a testament to her courage and determination to secure a better life for herself and her family. With her newfound freedom, Biddy and her daughters moved in with the Owens family in Los Angeles. Her daughter Ellen's marriage to Charles Owens marked not only a personal milestone, but also a connection to a prominent and successful black family in the city. Biddy Mason's triumph in gaining her freedom marked the beginning of a new chapter in her life, one characterized by resilience, ingenuity, and an unwavering commitment to creating a better future for herself and her community. With her newfound freedom, she embarked on a journey that would see her transform from a former slave into one of the most influential and prosperous individuals in Los Angeles. After settling in Los Angeles with the Owens family, Biddy wasted no time in utilizing her skills and resources to carve out a niche for herself. Her expertise as a nurse and midwife, honed during her years of service, became her means of sustenance and empowerment. Working alongside Dr. John Struther Griffin, a white Southern doctor, she delivered hundreds of babies and cared for patients during a smallpox epidemic in the mid-1860s. Her reputation as a skilled healthcare provider earned her respect and financial independence, which was uncommon for a black woman of her time. Biddy's commitment to giving back to her community and uplifting those in need became evident in her philanthropic efforts. She extended her support to prisoners, bringing them food and hope, and she even covered the salary of the ministers at the First African Methodist Episcopal A Church, a testament to her dedication to her faith and her people. Her generosity and compassion knew no bounds, as demonstrated by her open order at a local grocery store to aid families affected by the 1884 flood, regardless of their race. As Los Angeles underwent a transformative period of growth and development, so too did Biddy Mason's influence and affluence expand. Recognizing the potential of real estate investment, she took the advice of her former employer, Dr. Griffin, and her brother-in-law, Robert Owens, both of whom were involved in real estate ventures. Her ventures in real estate turned out to be incredibly astute as she purchased land, held onto parcels for a few years, and sold them for significant profits. Her portfolio included her own Spring Street property, boarding houses, shops, and various other businesses. Biddy's strategic investments played a pivotal role in shaping the burgeoning cityscape of Los Angeles. 
By the mid-1880s, Biddy had evolved from a former slave girl to a formidable businesswoman and property owner. Her wealth was evident not only in her financial success, but also in the respect and admiration she garnered from the citizens of Los Angeles. Her reputation reached the highest echelons of the city, with even the mayor recognizing her as Aunt Biddy. She had become a symbol of empowerment and progress for the black community, and a trailblazer for women striving for economic independence. While Biddy's business acumen and philanthropic endeavors contributed to her increasing wealth, it was her role as a matriarch that solidified her legacy. She imparted wisdom to her family, emphasizing the importance of education and self-determination. Her guidance nurtured future generations of entrepreneurs and activists within her family, leaving a lasting impact that transcended her lifetime. As Los Angeles underwent rapid urbanization and transformation, Biddy Mason's legacy continued to flourish. Her real estate investments paid dividends, and her influence on the city's landscape remained palpable. The impact of her choices rippled through time, shaping neighborhoods and influencing generations of residents. Her journey from enslavement to success echoed the larger narrative of societal change in a city on the cusp of modernization. Biddy's impact on the city's history and her enduring legacy continues to inspire generations, reminding us that individuals have the capacity to shape their destinies and contribute to the betterment of society. Biddy Mason's determination to secure a better future for herself and her family led her to navigate the complex world of real estate during a time when opportunities for black women were severely limited. Her strategic investments in properties throughout Los Angeles not only solidified her financial success, but also transformed her into a true trailblazer. In a city undergoing rapid growth and transformation, Biddy's role as a real estate mogul challenged the conventional norms of the time and shattered barriers for future generations. The impact of Biddy's business ventures extended beyond financial gain. By amassing a considerable fortune, she demonstrated the potential of economic empowerment to affect change. Biddy's story became a beacon of hope and inspiration for others in her community, proving that it was possible to overcome a legacy of enslavement and carve out a path to success. Her legacy encouraged others to dream big and strive for excellence in their pursuits, fostering a sense of possibility and ambition within a community that had long been marginalized. But Biddy Mason's legacy extended far beyond her financial achievements. Her commitment to philanthropy and community upliftment left an indelible mark on the city she called home. Her generosity knew no bounds from her support for prisoners and families affected by disasters to her contributions to the growth of the First AIM Church. Biddy's actions underscored her deep-rooted belief in the importance of giving back and creating a better future for all, regardless of race or background. After a life of remarkable achievements and contributions, Biddy Mason passed away on January 15, 1891. Her death marked the end of an era defined by her unwavering determination to overcome adversity and create a better future for herself and those around her. But while her physical presence was no longer with us, her legacy continued to reverberate through the years. Biddy's influence on her family continued to be felt for generations. Her legacy of entrepreneurship, philanthropy, and community upliftment was carried forward by her descendants, who inherited not only her financial acumen, but also her commitment to making a positive impact. The values she instilled in her family members echoed through the years, shaping their actions and contributing to their successes. One of the most significant ways in which Biddy Mason's legacy lives on is through the recognition and honors she has received posthumously. In 1988, a memorial stone was placed on her unmarked grave at Evergreen Cemetery, a testament to the city's acknowledgement of her contributions. We hope you have learned a lot from Biddy's life. Tell us in the comments which quality have you learned from her, and also subscribe to our channel for more motivating stories like this.